Good evening. Just a short video about the uh, people campaigning for Michael Steele. They claim, well, they're quite correct, actually. Somebody rang the police after the murders and said that they saw three, the three deceased men in the pub at eight o'clock or thereabouts, and therefore they could not have been murdered at seven o'clock. So in sensational cases, which the Rittenden case was, you always do get a lot of people ringing up because the police appeal for witnesses and so the good British people respond and 90% of the phone calls are well intent, got good intent. As far as evidence goes, they're useless. The people supporting Steele have um, said, yes, they were seen in the pub at eight o'clock, therefore... They couldn't have been. They couldn't have been dead at that time, and that supports our theory about this guy William Jasper, who allegedly murdered him around midnight or two o'clock, depending on which story of his you wish to believe. So I went, and um, the first pub someone said they saw them in was the Fortune of War in Basildon. Anyone who lives in Basildon will know that it was a proper battleground. And uh, unfortunately, the landlord who was there at the time is no longer with us. He's deceased. So I couldn't speak to him. And so the other pub, the Cock in at Orsett, quite another infamous pub in its day. And lo and behold, I tracked down the landlord, lovely guy called Anton. Anton is a very wealthy man, owned Wolves Football Club, owned Bournemouth Football Club. Give Harry Redknapp his first job. A very nice man as well. And like everybody else, he saw these appeals for information on the television and being an upstanding guy he rang the police and he said yep i see three guys matching their description in my pub and rather than carry on talking about it i'll let you listen to what he had to say here he goes can, can i just ask you I, I'll, I'll i'll give you these when i see they're only like daft police things but sorry I said, I'll give you these two bits of paper when I see you. They're only daft, like, police reports. Yeah. And the first one says, the licensee of the cocking at Grey's Rangus, Orsi. Yeah. About these lads being in there. And then the next one says, the licensee of the Fortune of War Rangus, about the lads being in there. But they both say the same time on the same day. And I thought, well... Yeah, no, no, my... I was with my, just talking to my missus on the way back. I've been down to the Cambridge this morning. Oh, right, and, yeah. Uh, and I was, we were talking, and she said, uh, she knows uh, our, that obviously was fairly early, because we went, went out for dinner after, after uh, when all, some of my staff came in into the, the bar, you know, looked up the men's dress came in. Yeah. But the boys, they came in quite early. They were, uh, you know, they all, they, well, Rover and that, and that was outside, the back one. Yeah. And but but I'm saying, did you used to have the Fortune of War as well as the the cock at Orsi? No, no, no. I, I had the, I do what I did. I had the plough and sail at Reddington. Oh, right, yeah. Which, uh, which was quite good. Yeah. And then I had the Cock and Rover, which was about half an hour away. Yeah. And I had the Cock and Rover the same place at the same time. No, no, they were de they were definitely in my place. I mean. I mean, Billy, Eddie, and I mean, it was everybody frequented that. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, the lads, know yeah. All, all the right people, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So the police, did the police ever come and speak to you after you ran no. the police? No, no. You, you know, you, you sort of knew them and you didn't know them, if you know what I mean. I mean, you, you know, there was a plenty of skull gaggery going on in, on some nights in there, but I mean, yeah. it, it was a real busy boozer. You, know. you don't know who the fourth bloke was who was with him, no? Huh? You don't know who the fourth bloke was who was with him, or was it just three in the pub? I'm sorry, I've got to apologise. I'm going a bit deaf. I'm 80 years old. Oh, sorry, I'm, Anton, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm I, sorry. I used to be in a music game as well. Oh, did you? I used to manage fans and I used to sing. I had a couple of records in the charts. But, um... Just like to run that past me again. I said, was there four four guys in the pub or three? Three. Three. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay then. And you you don't remember what they was wearing or nothing like that, no? Yeah, I, 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 they all had big black coats on. 
What they do crumbies? Oh, look, full crumbies, right, okay, okay. So there you have it. An upstanding guy. Absolutely good intent. Doing what the police asked him to do. Getting in touch with him with information. And, as you've heard, took a tape and rob, weren't wearing crumbies. Their Range Rover wasn't black, so it wasn't them. So scratch that one off your list, okay? And um, I'm working on the uh, three witnesses in the Range Rover story. All I can say about that one is uh, hang on to your hats over and out. <laughs>